So about a half a year ago, I started working on a document with all sorts of patching ideas, sound design techniques, tips and tricks with examples in VCVREC. So there's an explanation in the document and the VCV patch file to go with it, with an explanation also in the patch itself. We will look at an example shortly. I continue to update this document. So I released it in June last year and I updated it a few times. I will continue to update it also, and it's available on my Patreon page if you are interested. And there's also an example version you can download for free and see if it's something you will find helpful. Links in the description, of course. So let's have a look at an example, how to get rid of note tails. So this is how it looks like in the document. There's the basic idea, the modules you will need, and then the explanation. And this is the patch. All of the modules I'm using are for free. And I'm also trying to use as many so-called basic modules as I can. So most of the modules I'm using um, are from VCV. I also use color coding and you can see the explanation here. So audio uh, is red, clock triggers and gates are blue, volt per octave is yellow and modulation is green, just so it's easier to see what goes where. And here we have also the explanation in the notes module from VCV. So let's really see at the, um, what is the idea behind this patch. I have here a very simple voice, a VCO, an oscillator going through a VCA, an envelope is opening this VCA. Um, I'm using this VCA from VCV and not the VCA from the mixer because I want to visually see what's going on. So this is how it will sound like. Now, to sequence this voice, I'm using the first row of the SEC3 from VCV and I'm using the gate output, but as you can see, not all of the gates are on, but still I'm getting also the notes in between because I have the decay a bit up if I take it down. This is more or less how it should be, but there are still some ghost notes, but I don't want the decay to be down. I want to have a nice amount of decay, but I don't want to get those ghosts, those uh, note ghosts in between. I just want to have a note on the gates that I have programmed. So a really easy way to get rid of those tails of those goat, uh, ghost, goat, <laughs> ghost notes is with a uh, sample and hold. So I'm using the same gate that I'm using, let's take it down, that I'm using to trigger the voice. I'm using the same gate to trigger a sample and hold. And I'm sending the pitch information first through the sample and hold, then to the quantizer and to my voice. This is exactly the same voice. So if we will use it instead, we get only the notes or only the gates that I have programmed in the sequencer, which is quite useful. Again, sometimes you will want those ghost, uh, ghost notes, but when you don't, a sample and hold is a really easy way to get rid of them. So this is an example from the document. There are many more like this, uh, all sorts of techniques, sound design ideas, Again, everything is with explanations and everything is with examples in VCVREC with only free available modules. So again, feel free to download the free version of this document and see if it's something you like. Have fun and cheers.